Hello, and today I'm reviewing Forrest Gump by Winston Groom. First off, if you've seen the movie Forrest Gump, and most of us have, they're nothing alike. Nothing alike at all. And I was a little disappointed when I read the book, and I decided to judge it just as if I had never seen the movie, because if I judged it against the movie, the movie would have massacred this, because the movie was better. However, I think that the book does a better job with Jenny's character than the movie did. In the movie, to me, she seems like she's using Forrest and she doesn't really care about him because she's always leaving for some other guy instead of being with him. I mean, it just it makes her look bad. The movie doesn't paint her as good as the book does. Um... That being said, I give the book 4 out of 5 stars. If you have watched the movie and you like it, I would suggest reading the book because they're completely different. Completely different. Um, I was shocked by actually how different it was because I was expecting a few differences, but even the events that occur in the book and in the um, movie, like they're not even similar. <laughs> they are completely different. For one thing, he never runs across the country. Um, so it's a lot of different. And there's th the box of chocolates thing comes up one time. And there is no peas and carrots, as far as I remember. But And it's not that big of a book. But it was really, really good. So pick it up and read it, especially if you have seen the movie, because this is quite different. A lot of people like the movie better, and I do too, but the saving grace of this book was Jenny's character, because in the movie, we know, you know, she, she does a lot of drugs, and she uses Forrest, and then she comes down with something, she's like, well, I'm dying, will you marry me? And he says yes, and to me, that's just not, that wasn't cool. It made her seem like she was using him which is basically what me and my mom have always thought about the movie. But in the book, like, she's very much more understandable. She doesn't... Okay, in the book, she smokes pot. But that's it. She doesn't do anything else. And, um... She does have a lot of boyfriends there for a while. But she really does love Forrest. But he screws it up. She doesn't... It's understandable why she leaves the two times that she leaves him. So, I would seriously read it. It's a lot different. For one thing, Jenny doesn't die in the end. And neither does Forrest's mother. So, like, comment, and subscribe. If you have read this, let me know. And let me know what you think about it. Because it's way, way different. And I will be doing a review on another book here in just a few minutes. Because I'm a little bit behind.